Ma, you can't do that. What are you talking about? It's a perfectly legal double jump. Yes, but I'm black, you're red. Hey, it's supposed to be a friendly game. All of a sudden, you're playing Vegas rules. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, Lucy, honey, how did the interview go? Oh, fantastic. Is Aunt Blanche here? I want to tell her all about it. And that I won't be home for dinner tonight. Oh, your gorgeous doctor taking you for another midnight cruise? <laughs> oh, no. Tonight, I'm going out with Michael. Oh, Michael isn't the doctor. No, Michael's from the university. He's the one who interviewed me. Oh, he's an absolute <laughs> dream. He really is. He's the most stunning hunk of masculinity I have seen since... Well, since... Since the dazzling doctor from last night? <laughs> Lucy, darling, how'd the interview go? Oh, it was great, Aunt Blanche. I have a feeling I'm going to be spending a lot more time here with you in Miami. Oh, that's wonderful. So I hope you won't be upset if I'm not home for dinner tonight. Or tomorrow night. Oh, Lucy! Oh, please, Aunt Blanche. He wants me to fly to the Bahamas with him. The Bahamas? Uh, well, I suppose you do have to celebrate doing so well this afternoon and everything, so what the heck, go on. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew yeah. you'd understand. I'll see y'all later. Oh, I'm so happy things are going so well for her. Practically accepted into college, now she's flying off to the Bahamas with a doctor. <laughs> Uh, Blanche, this trip to the Bahamas, it is not with the doctor. What do you mean? The girl's a slut. <laughs> That's not what I meant, exactly. No, she's going to the Bahamas with the college interviewer she met this afternoon. This is the second man she's gone away with since she arrived yesterday. <laughs> well, she's 20 years old. She's a young lady. I, I don't have any right to button to her life. Well, I think you should talk to her mother. Oh, I can't do that. Why not? Because Lucy trusts me. Ever since she was a little girl, she and I have confided in each other. If I betrayed that trust, she'd never forgive me. I'd never forgive myself. Well, then I think you should talk to her as soon as she gets back. Well, I think you're right. I do need to try and straighten this out. I don't know what to say to her. I used to know a girl like that in Sicily. She slept with every Tom, Dick, and Vito in our village. <laughs> Finally, the women took matters in their own hands. They dragged her to the outskirts of town, threw her on the ground, and asked her, why, why, why would you do such a thing? What did she say? What else is there to do in this godforsaken village? <laughs> Ma, what does this have to do with Lucy? Not a thing. It's the only slut story I know. I'll just be a minute. Oh. Oh, Lucy, you're home. I am Blanche, what are you doing up? Oh, I was waiting up to talk to you, honey. I guess I dozed off. Well, what is it? Is anything wrong? No, everything's fine, really. Um, why don't you just say goodnight to your friend and I'll meet you in the kitchen, okay? Uh, Aunt Blanche, wait. Um, I wasn't gonna say goodnight to Ed. I was just stopping by to pick up a few things. What? Well, it was on the way. I'm in that new complex over on the lakefront. By the way, I'm Ed Collins, Miami Vice. <laughs> Miami what? Vice? Ed's with the police department. Oh, I thought he was with the university. No, actually, before you left last night, I thought he was the doctor from the plane. Then Dorothy explained to me that he was the university interviewer. Oh, no, that, that was Michael, the guy I flew to the Bahamas with. I just met Ed at the airport. <laughs> he arrested Michael for transporting marijuana from the islands. <laughs> oh, boy, you think you know somebody. <laughs> I see. Well, Ed picking up Michael was doing his job. You picking up Ed is something I think the two of us have to discuss. Ed, it's been a real pleasure. Good night. Lucy, you're grounded for the rest of your stay here. Uh, and Blanche, wait! You're embarrassing me. Now, why don't you go get a good night's sleep and we'll talk about it when I get home tomorrow. I don't think you heard what I said. You are not going anywhere. Hey, Blanche, I'm 20 years old. I'm going wherever I please. Come on, Ed. You walk out that door, Missy. You can forget about coming back. <laughs> 